Uh, first of all, did everyone enjoy their day at the races on Tuesday? Uh, some more than others, I think. Uh, I think it was a hard day for the betting. But no, it was, it was good. It was good to get together. Um, the lads all enjoyed themselves, I think. Now, whether or not I think whether or not you'd actually say it at this stage, um, you are realistically either safe or close to, to safe now. Close being the word. Close being the word. Um, but in the last couple of seasons, I know there's been a bit of a slump when, once Cheltenham have been safe. But how do you go about kind of combating that, making sure, making sure it doesn't happen again? Uh, well, I wasn't here for a start. Um, a lot of the players have changed since then as well, so you can't guarantee anything. But I'd like to think that the players won't be taking the work too hard in the last four or five months to get into the position that we're in to just go, oh, we're all right now. A, we're not all right yet. Um, you know, people talked about 15 and 16 points, but that's already got smaller anyway because of the game's from Tuesday night. Uh, so, and it's it's keeping the group motivated. People are still playing for contracts. Steve will play, even if they don't get a contract here, they still got to play somewhere else. So I think you'd be foolish as a player to, to come off it and think, oh, we'll be all right. I, I don't understand that mentality personally anyway. But, um, and if the players do want to do that, the squad's big enough now to take players, those players out of the team. Talking about contracts still being um, up for grabs there, and talking about playing for them, is that, is, do, you, do managers and do you use that as a motivational tactic to players say, look, come on, there is something on the line here? No, no, do you see I, results well, from that? That's, that's, what I, that's what I think. I've not said to the players, you are playing for your futures. No, no. Because um, that isn't, we've got to get safe before anything's sorted, as I've said all along. Um, but I just think, from as a footballer's point of view, you need you need a motivate, you need a fire, you need a motivation. That's why sometimes, with young lads now in academies, they get too much too soon. That's why some players get to big big money, and after a season they disappear because they lose their their fire and lose their hunger because they become comfortable. Um, I'm not saying that happens at this level, obviously, but I think the the players should be motivated. Hope that that's my job to motivate them. If they don't look motivated, we need to change the team and bring people in that are motivated. Uh, talking about kind of overall atmosphere at the club when you come in, um, day, you know, day by day in the morning, do you think there's more belief around here, more positivity than there was when you arrived? Uh, the, 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 more posit, uh, positivity. I think that's based on results. The, the the group were a good group, but I wasn't sure of the of the demand on each other. I think they were just comfortable, just bobbing along. I, will be, I think we'll be all right. Well, we've got too many good players. That sort of scenario, and you can't have that. Even at the top level, you look at people like, even this week, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo's a freak. Cause, but he's definitely not doing it for money anymore, but he's, he has that fire constantly. And it's not easy to have that. Now, he, like I said, he's a freak with unbelievable ability. But just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. That's why he is at the top of his game. Lionel Messi's the same. He gets booted all over the park and has done for 15 years, but he just gets up and gets on with it. He could quite easily go, I've had enough of this. But, but that's why they are where they are. So it's, that's, it's important that you keep them, keep them going. You are right, there are obviously some really good players in this team, but what do you think, how far is it in terms of ability away from being able to be one of the, one of the best teams in the league? Obviously you, you took over at a, at a bit of a disadvantage down the bottom. Um, it's hard to tell because of, I think if you go off the last 20, if you go off the last half a season, I think we've shown we're seven, eighth, ninth sort of team. So can you improve on that? Form, I think at the minute we're ninth in the form table for the last nine, uh, eight games. So we've been in and around that mark. So it's, it shows that the, the team is, the squad is probably better than what it was achieving. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Uh, Newport have picked up a little bit in form recently. Um, they obviously were in the playoffs at one point in the season and they've sort of had a bit of a tumble, picked up a bit. Where, where do their biggest dangers come from? Is it that size that they bring to it? I think it's together. I don't know so much size, I think it's togetherness. Um, you know, the, the pitch is sticky, it's a difficult pitch, but they've got results based on even when we played them, they, they were still going 100 mile an hour in the 94th, 95th minute. I think that's what Flinney's really got them, you know, the real team ethic, and they don't seem to have any sort of big egos where they just they know they've got a way of playing and they all know their jobs and they do look a real together unit, hence the reason they've picked up good results in the FA Cup, which has probably hampered their league form because um, there were so many games behind at one point. Um, but you, you don't beat Leicester at home, you don't take Man City all the way, you don't beat Middlesbrough, draw at their place and beat them at home. So their cup run has probably been a blessing, but also a, a hindrance for them. But it's, it, it's going to be a real tough one. We need to roll our sleeves. If we don't turn up on uh, Friday, we, we will, they, they can run over the top of you. Is it a tough atmosphere down there as well? Yeah, it's, 
that's what I mean. The way they play, and that's what the fans they 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 like. They want them to play like that as well, and they're the same. They they they, they sort of similar sort of crowd and team, you know, real up and at them sort of with the, some quality as well. But first and foremost, you need to be prepared to uh, ride it out. You've uh, you've played them twice already this season. One in the league, one in the cup. Good result in the league. Went through in the cup against them. Do you ever claim any kind of psychological advantage from that? No, it was a long time ago. Uh, it was at the start of this, right? I'd like to think we're a better team now than what we were then because we've done more work. Uh, there's more of a cohesiveness with the group as regards to shape and patterns and understanding. Um, and, and the cup game, both teams made quite a few changes, so it, no significance whatsoever, really. Any any injuries to pick up on? Uh, no, I think we're good at the minute.